In this video, I'm going to show you the best Max Protect play out of Gun Bunch in Madden 23. That's right, I said the best Max Protect play out of Gun Bunch in Madden 23. We're going to show you today a little bit of a secret way to block your tight end. I think most people know about it by now. We're going to talk about this. I've known about this for a couple weeks. And then we're also going to be sharing with you guys a really effective way to break down coverages using only three routes. This is going to allow you to pick up most of, not all, of the major blitzing concepts out there right now. And we're going to be able to attack the defense with just a couple of really key routes that work well now we're going to use the gun bunch out of the pittsburgh steelers playbook if you guys have not uh, joined our patreon to get my pittsburgh steelers gun bunch ebook i think i've released it like i think either the second or third day the game was out and we've been updating it as well for you guys that ebook is really really effective for teaching you how to pass at a high level out of the bunch this year kind of a different way to run bunch than we saw it ran last year but still a very effective offense bunch year in and year out is one of the most effective offenses in the game and this year is no different so if you want to get access to that make sure that you join our patreon the link is down in the description it's only ten dollars to sign up and it will get you access to all of my madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that we always offer year-round support on all of our ebooks so as long as you're in the patreon you'll be able to access all of that material all right guys so the play that we're going to be taking a look at today and i think the best max protect play out of the gun bunch formation is either the bunch trail um, which is a very good argument for this to be one of the better plays but i actually really like the play deep corner as my number one play uh, for a max protect out of gun bunch so the setup here is really really simple what we're going to do is we're just simply going to motion out the receiver on the right side and what you're going to see is this will allow me to now block my tight end and then i'm going to block my running back so as you can see here i have been able to fully max protect and then i have three really powerful routes and this route to the right side this corner route is really really good you see i can pass lead that to the outside and easily be able to make a make a catch now hey have turned freeform passing on i'm still a complete noob at this so if i throw the ball out of bounds it's obviously my fault. Um, I just don't have it down yet. So still working on that. Uh, kind of trying to learn this as the first turn of the year is now over. So again, you're going to see that this corner route to the right side is so good. Because um, right on that cut, we can throw that up an outside pass lead. And that's going to be fairly consistent. It's going to be consistent against man. It's going to be consistent against zone. Now, if they press their coverage, I will say that they will make a little bit better of a chance of stopping this. Um, but I think the scissors action is the most consistent way uh, to really break down zone. You see they're not able to get out there. We're able to throw that to the outside and able to make the catch. So we're able to break down cover four zone really easily. All we have to do is throw the corner route, and they're going to have a hard time um, you know, defending everything that we can do out of that. So now I want to go to cover three. Now cover three is a little better um, this year than it's been in years past, uh, but what you will see is this corner route will still kind of work to the outside just like that. As long as we can get that nice effective pass lead to the outside, we're going to be able to kind of break down that cover three coverage um, as you can see now I'm gonna go ahead and press the cover three and just show you that this is gonna break this down again and again it's really simple and what this is gonna basically force is it's gonna force you to user your uh, corner route which no one should ever do in any defense ever and then it's going to leave your backside dig wide open so as you can see right there we're able to break down the cover three coverage now we're gonna go to the cover two coverage Now the cover two coverage um, is probably the easiest one to break down this year to be honest um, with this route combo what you're going to see here is my corner route uh, won't get quite where we want him to but my post over the middle of the field is going to be pretty decent at getting separation against the cover two now i will say that this corner route if they press their cover two which pro tip when you run cover two it's i think it's actually best to not press it but what you'll see now is this corner route should have a lot more of an opportunity to get over the cloud as you can see it kind of sneaks over the cloud on the right side most people don't run a lot of cover two against bunch i will say um, most people are going to be in either match coverage or man to man which we're going to go over those two in just a second but if they are running a lot of cover two, um, if you just take this backside receiver and put him on a comeback route, a lot of times this safety or this, um, this post will be able to split 
and you'll be able to throw this over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now, remember, we're blocking seven people, so we should have a decent pass protection, especially if they're going to blitz us out of a cover two. So that is our zone kind of aspect. Last thing I want to teach about zone here is if they take their user and they say, you are not going to throw the corner route on me again, I am going to stop the corner route with everything that I have. I'm going to put all my energy into the corner route. Then what you're going to want to do here is you're just going to want to wait and you want to throw your little uh, in route right there. So this concept is really effective for breaking down coverage. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to cover match coverage because match coverage is really good. And what you'll see is that if we just run this play as is, this is going to defend the corner route. As you can see, I still was able to get an ag, but it's going to defend the corner route. But if we motion this receiver outside here, um, what you're going to see now is this little post and scissors action is going to make it more difficult for match coverage to properly defend this. And what you should see here is R1 should still get to the corner uh, kind of okay. He should still be okay to get to the corner. You obviously have your backside in route as well. So this is just breaking down literally every coverage in the game. And then we're going to show you lastly man-to-man. -man. So the way that this works against man-to-man -man is really simple. Your dig is almost always open against man. This corner route a lot of times on the cut will be really a little sharper. There you see there's my awesome freeform skills throwing the ball into the stands. Um, but as you can see, he's open. I can throw this corner out with pretty regularity um, or regular consistency, and we should have a decent level of success if they don't have a zone over there. So you see here again, pass lead outside, and this is able to get open against man-to-man. -man. Now this corner route in particular is a sharper corner route than almost any other corner route in the game. It's really one of the many reasons why this Pittsburgh Steelers playbook is so effective because of our ability to throw this corner route right here. Now the next thing that we're gonna see from this is not only is the corner route gonna be open, but right on the cut, right pass lead inside, I can throw that. Of course, I had, even though it says I have perfect accuracy, I overthrew the ball. Um, but as you can see, I mean, he's open. So they're going to start to do stuff like this. Like they're going to start to have to zone over here on the right side to take away the corner route, which then is going to allow you to throw this post over the top. So you see here, kind of throw it right on the cut, right in that little window. And you see, you know, he's open. I just can't make the throw because I don't know how to free form yet. Uh, still learning that. Um, you know, but that's kind of the idea. So they're going to have that guy there. They might have this guy over the middle for the, the, the route. And then this can leave your post route very much so one-on-one -on -one over the top. Um, and if you have a good route running player, you'll see a lot of times he'll get open. Obviously, you have your dig as well uh, to the left side. So this is a pretty decent little play, even though it is a max protect play um, against man-to-man -man coverage that you can go to, you know. And again, our receivers are kind of running into each other. You know, that's Madden 23. But by and large, if you call this play, you're going to consistently get people open, whether it be zone or man-to-man. -man. The corner route is really probably, the, it's definitely the best route on the play. Um, this post route, man, I can't make a throw with free form. Um, but the post route is open right on the cut. I just can't throw it. Um, so let me try to not free form it and see if that'll work. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm still learning the kinks out of, out of how to, how to use this mechanic, but the post route is really good. Obviously an ultimate team is going to be a little bit better because you're going to get a little bit better route running player at that position. Um, maybe put short and elite on him. Um, but anyways, yeah. So great running into each other guys. Uh, but anyways, just trust me that um, that route is really, really good against man. Um, and then what you're going to see is this is going to cause basically an issue. If, if, you, if they cover the corner and the post, then your backside dig should be wide open against man. So right in that little window right there, you can kind of hit that in route. And obviously, again, like I said, we're kind of wanting to show this a little bit more so um, against a potential blitz. So if they do send pressure, uh, you know, here this is a basic five-man pressure. Now you see how they don't have the resources necessarily to be able to, to put a zone for the corner, to put a zone for the in route, and to put a zone for the deep route. And so my in route is going to be more consistent against man um, probably than anything else on the play because they're going to be so focused. Everybody knows that in bunch you're going to try to throw a corner route to the outside on the right. So everybody kind of knows that. Um, going in, but when you have something like this backside dig route, um, it's 
it's so helpful for beating man-to-man -man coverage. So that is how you run this play against all different types of coverages. If you want to learn all kinds of ins and outs of our gun bunch, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, and it gets you access to all of our eBooks and all of our updates to those eBooks throughout the course of the Madden 23 season. Um, as long as you're a Patreon member, it's only, like I said, 10 bucks. Link is in the description if you want to sign up. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.